going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about flighting the ball down. This is a great shot to have for those windy days or honestly when you're just not hitting it great. Normally you have a little more control when you're flighting it down. So let's get started. So why is it great to have that lower flighted shot? Well, like I said before, it's great for in the wind. And if anyone knows who's played our golf course, we have the north course, which doesn't have many trees. So it gets plenty windy out there. If it feels like it's blowing 10 miles an hour on the south course, where there is trees, it feels like it's blowing 20 on the north. So it's good to have that lower flighted shot that penetrates the wind a little better. So to hit this shot, there's two things we have to do in our setup to adjust to help the ball fly a little lower. And there's one thing we have to focus on during the swing to help it come out lower and have a little more control. So let's get at it. Starting with the setup, the normal setup, right now I got seven iron, is we got the ball slightly forward to center, just slightly, and we're gripping down about the bottom of the grip. So there's not really much room at the bottom. Our hand's not hanging off the grip, but we're about at the bottom of the grip. To help flight the ball down a little more, we are gonna grip down on the club a little bit. So there should be about an inch between the butt of the club and your hand. And we're going to move the ball back in our stance about a ball. So it's going to move from slightly in front of center to about center. It's a slight change, but it's going to help greatly. It's going to help the ball flight lower. Moving the ball back in our stance is just going to help us ensure we can get our hands in front of the ball, deal off the club a little bit to help it launch lower. And gripping down on it is going to help our swing be a little more compact so we can have more control over this lower flighted shot. And then in swing, we're gonna focus on taking a little shorter swing. This is gonna help knock down some of the spin and keep it from rising into the wind. So we're gonna focus on taking about a three quarter swing. Might wanna think about lead arm parallel to the ground being the top of our golf swing. And on the way through, we're gonna be about the same thing. We're about our trail arm parallel to the ground as our finish. This is gonna keep it a little more compact help us have a little more control over the ball, and again, help it spin less. So just a quick recap, we're gonna grip down slightly on the club, about an inch. Ball's gonna move back to about center, so back about a ball from normal, and we're gonna focus on making a three-quarter swing. Help us get our hands in front of the ball. Now I'll show you the difference between the two ball flights, from our normal ball flight, and then this knockdown ball flight. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching the end of the video. I hope you can take what you learned here today onto the golf course and start having a little more control in the wind, hitting that lower flighted shot. If you learned anything today, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.